My boss, the Foreign Secretary of the United Kingdom, uh, seeking your agreement uh, to me as the official United Kingdom representative to uh, the Commissar. Excellency, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, your Excellency, Secretary General, senior officials of Commissar um, uh, and others from uh, this organization, uh, members of the press, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm delighted to be presenting my credentials here today as UK representative to, uh, to COMESA. The British government regards COMESA and similar institutions as having a key role to play in the development of Africa. International development in Africa and elsewhere is a priority for our government. As a result of the economic crisis, the UK is having to cut back on its overall public expenditure. However, the only budget that we are increasing is that for development. When the newly arrived coalition government drew up its spending plans in 2010, it set out how we were going to reach the UN target for development assistance of 0.7% of gross national income by next year. This was the first time that the uh, the British government had ever set out plans um, to achieve this target. These plans were reconfirmed most recently in our annual budget last March. Um, we will be the first G8 or G20 country ever to reach this target. And much of that development assistance is being, it's being spent in Africa, including in commissar countries. However, development is about so much more than spending aid money. Other key aspects include freeing up trade and bringing down the cost of doing business across borders. The British government has what it calls its Africa Free Trade Initiative to promote free trade right across the continent. And we're delighted that the African Union has set itself the target of creating a free trade area among its members by 2017. Much has already been done on a smaller scale. Several regional economic communities, including COMESA, have already established free trade areas between their members. We're pleased that COMESA is now working with the East African community and the Southern African Development Community to develop a single free trade area across all the countries they represent. We will continue to support this effort, the tripartite trade negotiations process, in any way we can. We support COMESA's efforts to improve arrangements for trade and services between its members. We know that uh, COMESA does a lot more than this. It promotes trade in other ways too. The UK fully supports COMESA's work in building regional transport corridors and simplifying border formalities. We funded the one-stop border crossing between Zambia and Zimbabwe at Chirundu and are funding the up upgrading of a section of the road between Chirundu and Lusaka. We applaud Commissar's thinking uh, about, for example, how advanced technology can be harnessed to ease trade, including through the creation of a virtual market, market exchange system. As I said, Commissar's work to promote regional integration goes beyond merely focusing on trade. For example, it has its own development bank. It's doing valuable work on climate change adaptation and mitigation. In this, it's working in partnership with the UK, the European Union and Norway to exploit opportunities presented through climate smart agricultural approaches here in Zambia and through the tripartite in southern and eastern Africa. More broadly, COMESA seeks to promote peace and security among its members, a really laudable aim and key work. Mr Secretary General, the British government and me personally uh, are very impressed by the dynamism of your secretariat led by yourself. And it seems to us 
that your organisation is contributing mightily to the economic development of the continent. I am personally proud to be associated with your work as the UK representative, and I wish you the very best of success in the future. The United Kingdom has a long history of trade with Africa. In 2008, UK-Africa bilateral trade in goods existed £20 billion, with the burgeoning services sector providing at least as much again. We can safely say that not only is Africa an important trading partner for the UK, but that the UK is an important trading partner for Africa in general and for Comesa in particular. We know that the United Kingdom is continuously supporting African countries, among them Comesa member states, and the UK is stepping up its support to help African countries, producers, traders, uh, to become more competitive. The UK is supporting a series of major regional programs that will further deepen and strengthen regional integration so as to promote intra- and inter-regional trade. And in this regard, we applaud the decision by the Conservative government to support the establishment of the Continental African Free Trade Area under the auspices of the African Union. One example, Your Excellence, of such support is UK aid to the Comesa, EAC and SADAC tripartite. The UK is the leading cooperating partner for the tripartite and in this capacity has assisted the 26 member states of the tripartite to mobilize resources for infrastructure you know, development. It is not only the Chirundu one stop water post that you mentioned, the turn off from that road from Siavonga to Chirundu that will be rehabilitated thanks to the UK grant, but also the Kafue Way Bridge, and also the design of the Serenje Nakonde Road uh, that is being done in order to improve that link uh, to the Dar es Salaam you know, corridor. Your Excellency, through trademark Southern Africa, the UK has also provided very effective financial, technical and logistical support to the tripartite, especially in the areas of trade facilitation, removal of non-tariff barriers, establishing the tripartite free trade area, designing a regional industrial development policy, and infrastructure rehabilitation, as mentioned previously. Other major successes include the convening of the North of the 2009 North-South Corridor heads of states meeting which resulted in United States dollars 1.2 billion of donor pledges aimed at upgrading infrastructure. The opening of sub saharan Africa's first one-stop border post at Chirundu and the launching of the negotiations leading to the Comesa EAC and SADAC tripartite free trade area. Your Excellency, we know that the United Kingdom is among the largest donors regarding official development assistance. As an example, we note that UK bilateral ODA uh, to Africa was about 1.9 billion in 2011, which is almost equal to the 1.99 billion in 2010. Uh, this confirms, Your Excellency, that uh, uh, the UK government has not uh, reduced uh, its support uh, under development cooperation. DFID also supports Comesa and regional integration in other ways, such as supporting the climate change program that you have mentioned, the Comprehensive Africa Agriculture Development Program, and the Africa Agriculture Markets Program. These examples reflect the excellent quality of relationship between Comesa and the United Kingdom, and I'm confident that we will continue to deepen and strengthen our relationship. Your Excellency, I wish to end by once again reiterating our gratitude to the United Kingdom government for supporting our tripartite arrangement, which constitutes a big historical step for the African continent and economic uh, integration. Your Excellency, once again, let me welcome you and I extend my best wishes to you in your, in your responsibilities and you can rest assured, Your Excellency, that my colleagues and I will work with you to further um, um, uh, strengthen and deepen our mutually beneficial you know, cooperation.